Hi, my name is Jim Smith. I'm the CEO of cashforbooks.net. We've been around for 13 years. We buy and sell college textbooks online. And on our website at cashforbooks.net, you can get an instant price quote for your used college textbooks, ship them in for free, and then uh, get paid via PayPal or check. Today we're talking about counterfeit college textbooks and how to spot them. This has been a problem, especially over the past three years. It's been a growing problem. And today I hope to give some tips, some tools and tips to help stop people from trying to sell counterfeit college textbooks. So the first thing to look for is the glue color. So here I have copy from the publisher, which we purchased directly from the publisher. Here's a packing slip and invoice. And so we also call this our exemplar copy. So what we're looking for here, I'll show you the glue, show you the glue color in the exemplar copy. See it's a dark gray color. It's very even, very nice smooth binding uh, glue in the binding there. Next let's look at the counterfeit copy and you'll see get that in focus there you'll see it's more of a yellowy color and it's not as even you see it kind of bumps up right there oftentimes you'll see with a counterfeit you'll see bubbles in the glue you may see it's thin, the glue could be thin on one side and then thicker over here, different things like that. But the main, main thing is to look for this kind of yellowy color for, and with counterfeits. Let's take a look again at the difference here. So that part is pretty easy to, to distinguish with the glue and the binding. Okay, the next the next part that's a little more difficult to distinguish would be the cover art and the art as well as artwork on the pages and illustrations on the pages. You see with the exemplar it's very sharp. The printing is very sharp and crisp whereas the, uh, the counterfeit it's much more grainy and uh, just the print quality is, is not as good here. So the third thing, third thing is the dimensions. The dimensions of the book can oftentimes, between an exemplar and a counterfeit, dimensions can often be different. Sometimes very different, but in this case, the height is just one or two millimeters different between this is the exemplar and then the counterfeit is, I'll shift it that way, the counterfeit is on the left. So the counterfeit is slightly shorter. Same thing, so that's the height. The width is also, I'll in the interest of time, I'll not show that, but the width is slightly different, as well as the thickness is slightly different. And it's not like the exemplar is always thicker or thinner, it's just that it's different. Um, so, those are the, those are the main things to look out for, the glue color, the print quality, the thickness, the dimensions, and the last thing, sometimes the shade of white will be slightly different. It'll be a slightly different uh, shade of white. One will be kind of an off white, one will be a brighter white, something like that. So you can look for that as well. Obviously, not as with used book selling, we don't always have an exemplar copy from the publisher right in front of us. 
So it is very difficult to distinguish uh, counterfeit from the real deal, but the main thing, really, if you don't have an exemplar, is going to be the glue color, as well as looking at the print quality. Thank you very much, and I hope this has been helpful.